What's up, Boo Kittens? It's your girl, Keisha, and I'm here with my 2015 Grammy Awards review. So I give this year's Grammy Awards a fucking F-. minus. That shit was fucking boring as fuck. It was like watching one of them movies on Sundays on Lifetime. I felt like I wanted to slip my fucking wrist. It was, everybody did like fucking slow songs and shit. It was boring and dry as fuck and sad and depressing. It was like the Grammys were made this year for menopausal bitches with no man, no life. Just on fucking suicide watch. I didn't understand it. But let's get into my best and worst dress. My best dress man goes to Aloe Black. He had on a black and blue tuxedo and this really nice little cute little hat. He looked really nice. Um, my best dress woman, I have several picks. Um, even though this bitch 99% of the time gets on my motherfucking nerves and drives me nuts. Taylor Swift killed the fucking red carpet this year. She wore this green, high-low, Ellie Saab gown. And the bitch just looked like she hopped off a Paris runway. She looked fan-freaking-tastic. She was serving us legs for days. And then Jessie J had on this black sheer beaded Ralph Russo gown. And she was serving us Morticia Wednesday Adams realness. She had her hair slicked back. And she just looked effortless, effortlessly beautiful. It was just so gothic and just, uh, it sold me something I would totally wear. I just loved it. And then a lot of people didn't like it. It's been getting a lot of memes <laughs> uh, about it already tonight. But I was here for Riri's Gian Battista Valley Lufa inspired Pepto and Bi Pepto Bismol inspired gown. I loved it because I'm a fashion girl, so I got it. It was a risk and I loved it. Uh, I'm going mentions goes to Nicki Minaj. She looked great tonight for Nicki Minaj, like the best she's ever looked in her freaking entire life. So kudos to you, Nicki. Um, my worst dressed man goes to fucking Pharrell Williams. I don't know why this nigga just loves to channel a five-year-old toddler with a snotty nose. This nigga came on the red carpet in this puke color gray. It was like sterile, hospital sterile short suit like it was horrible like he is a sexy man i don't know why he chooses to look like he gets everything from baby gap i don't understand this shit it's, it does not make my nipples hard at all for real please stop it um then my worst dress goes to two bitches the first is kim kardashian that bitch tried it she came on the carpet in this gold beaded spiked john paul gautier bedazzled bathrobe and this bitch was channeling uh, James Brown, Liberace, and Ric Flair. This bitch is like, she just wants to be like, Woo! I got Mercedes <laughs> and private jets, and I buy your man, and woo! And I was just like, Kim, who the fuck told you to wear this country ass outfit? It was too big for her. It did not showcase her shape at all. She looked like somebody's grandmama's living room from the 80s. It just looked horrible horrible on her i did not like it at all she had spikes and shit coming out of her shoulders it was like a bunch of guns and missiles and tanks and shit built on her outfit it was horrible then zendaya from disney channel this bitch was channeling a 1970s dark and lovely perm box i didn't understand her look at all she had on a short wig and then this striped ugly color dress that looked like she got it from out of um Mary from 227's closet from back in the day. It was just whacking horribly. It was aged her horribly. I didn't like it. She's a fashion risk taker, but tonight she should have shot and killed everybody that styled her tonight as far as from her head to toe. Makeup, her outfit, shoes, everything was off. Um, let's get into some of my favorite moments from tonight and my worst moments from tonight. Um, uh, first, Kanye came out on stage after being gone for six years not performing on the grammys for six years and he comes on stage dressed in a crushed burgundy velvet velour jogging suit and i'm like nigga this is what you choose to wear on stage at the fucking grammys after six years you ain't performing this bitch this is what you decide to wear you supposed to be mr fashionista mr fashion man and this is what you were looking like you Raided my Uncle Ray Ray's closet or some shit. Or you look like you a nigga fresh out of jail and only got one outfit because you just got out of jail and ain't got shit else to wear. I did not understand his choice of outfit. I did not understand his choice of song. You chose to sing that sad ass song about your daughter. And 
All you did was Swagger Jack, T Pay, and Zappin Rogers with the the auto tune shit. I'm just like, bring the old Yeezy back. Bring back that Yeezy taught me Yeezy. Like, cause this new Yeezy auto tune twirling around like a kid with fucking Tourette's. I, I don't get it. Um. Then Madonna, old rickety, 95,000-year-old fossil ass came out there with a bunch of men dressed as demonic-ass bulls. And she looked gorgeous in her uh, red and black Givenchy custom-made um, outfit. But she was serving us tragic, mediocre vocals. Those vocals were struggling. <laughs> um, like, her vocals were struggling, like... Jennifer Hudson was struggling on that stage to stand up in them heels and not bust her ass. V Madonna, no, she tries it with the singing, baby. I don't know how she's made all these years because it has not been on her vocals. The bitch that was singing background her, that fat bit, black bitch in the back, was killing her vocals, baby. That woman was singing her ass off. She was singing for her goddamn Sunday dinner, bitch. And, um, what else? Oh, and Madonna just looked tired as fuck throughout the whole fucking performance. She kept on looking around like, oh my God, I'm about to pass the fuck out. Can somebody get me a water? Fuck when I get up off this goddamn stage. Somebody gonna have to rub my knees and my legs down with some salve and some alcohol because I know my shit is about to be swole. Lord, I'm melting. Somebody gonna have to fan me when I get off this stage because my body is just gonna coagulate and fall apart because... Madonna just reminds me of the movie Death Becomes Her with Meryl Streep back in the day. Like, you just piece her together and then she falls apart at night and she has to re-piece herself back together again the next day. She just looks horrible, but then she looks beat at the same time. It's a struggle. Um, then Beyonce and Jay-Z won for Best R&B Performance and I was so excited. Um... And this bitch got up, and guess who was standing like two feet away from her? Not even two feet away, a, a, a step away from her was Julius. I'm like, only Beyonce will have her bodyguard standing two feet away because she's that bitch. She's the top bitch. And she's the only person that they would allow to have a bodyguard standing right the fuck next to them. Because she's that bitch. She's that trill of a bitch. She's the bitch. She's the number one bitch. That will only, she's the only bitch that will have to have her bodyguard standing right next to her. To ensure her fucking safety. And I'm like, you go the fuck head on, bitch. And she gets up there and she accepts her award. And she finally did it, y'all. She finally thanked us. She finally thanked the beehive. She was like, I just have to thank my beehive. And I was like... Bitch, you welcome. You are fucking welcome, my love. You know we are fucking here for you. I was just so happy for Queen Mother B because she deserved that award. And I'm like, you welcome me. Anything you fucking need, I'm here for you to serve. And then Annie Lennox and some mock head nigga came on stage and slayed. Slayed everybody in the motherfucking building with vocals. Annie Lennox went to church on our ass. Annie Lennox should have puck fucking passed around a collection plate for her vocals because they were that fucking trilling on point. She sang her fucking face. Oh, she sounded better than everybody in that motherfucker tonight. She sang for her life and she sashayed the fuck away after. Shantae, you stay. Then... Pharrell came out there dressed like a gay ass bellhop, looking like that little boy from off of, um, what's that little D Disney Channel show with the uh, little girl that's the nanny for the little kids and the little boy that's on there that's in love with her, the little bellhop. He looked like that nigga. And I, I just didn't, I just didn't understand it again. I was just like, you know what, Pharrell, you're not gonna make my head hurt no more than what it already is. And then I was like, is it just me? Or is it a bunch of dancing ass Trayvon Martins behind him? I, I was like, is it just me? But then I was like, no, bitch, it isn't just you. Because when they did the hands up, don't shoot, I was like, oh, he's paying homage to Trayvon Martin. That's what's up. So kudos to you, Pharrell, for the references to Trayvon Martin and the hands up, don't shoot movement. So <laughs> kudos to you for that. Then Katy Perry come out there. Stealing Solange wedding outfit. Solange gonna beat your ass, bitch. Solange is the wrong person to fuck with. And she gave us 
mediocre vocals as well. And but before she came out, she had some lady get out there and do a spoken word piece about domestic violence and shit. And I'm like, they are shady as hell at the Grammys because they know damn well Rihanna and Chris Brown was there at the same night. And you know that boy was in that damn audience, embarrassed as fuck. You know everybody was thinking, and you know everybody was looking at him like. Damn, cuz they talking about you. How do you sit there doing some shit like that? I know he was just like this. <clears throat> yeah, when the next performance gonna be up? Uh... <clears throat> I know he was embarrassed. Like, oh, I felt so embarrassed for him, but the nigga did it, so deal with it. Then, um, Rihanna and um, Kanye West and Paul McCartney performed their five second song. I like the song. I can't wait to hear what the rest of her album is gonna sound like. I dig the song. It was a song about an eight. Um, and Rihanna looked fucking gorgeous in that black male tuxedo. The bitch was just beat to perfection. Hair, makeup, jewels, outfit, everything was on point. Even her vocals was on point. And Rihanna didn't use the consent, but that bitch then came a long way with the vocals. I was like, this bitch can actually sing now. Go head on, Riri. And they hold the set. Just looked like a serious portrait studio. And I was here for it. I was like, okay, y'all take like a family picture. All right. Then, um, Beck won for album of the year. I'm not gonna even, I'm not gonna even say nothing about that because y'all know that was some bullshit. And Kanye got up there and walked up on stage like he was about to Taylor Swift him again. And he, everybody laughed and it was just so cute and fun. He want to be a part of the clique so bad. Him and Kim Kim just want to be Jay-Z and Beyonce bestie so bad, but you will never. Um, and then last but not least, Queen Mother performed. Uh, a gospel song and she's just like an angelic Barbie I didn't like her outfit I didn't know what the fuck that net was that she had on that she looked like she got from Home Depot but I love you Beyonce and she had a whole bunch of black men be standing behind her and if you paid attention she too gave a lot of references to Trayvon Martin and to uh, Mike Brown with the hands up don't shoot the bowed head you know how Mike Brown got killed when his head was down. And she just gave so many references. And I was like, yes, Beyonce, stand up for your goddamn people. I was so here for it. She sang her face off as usual. And I was like, just slay, mother, slay. Give me life. Give me my edges back. And then Common and um, Legend, John Legend came out. And they sang Glory. And they left off where Beyonce, uh, they, uh, they began where left uh, Beyonce left off because Beyonce took us to the altar and then Common and uh, John Legend took us to the mountaintop and it was just fucking beautiful and it was just good to see the Grammys show um, and showcase the struggle that we as black people have been going through and this movement that you know we gotta protect ourselves and our men and it was just it was just beautiful the way they ended the show with a black performance because the rest of that bullshit was just a mess. But overall, I give the show the F. It was trash because it was fucking boring as fuck. Last year's show was so much better. So that's my...